very good uh, Friday morning, uh, the day after the Independence Day, uh, July 5th, 2019, 5.43 a.m. here, West Coast time in Northern California. Uh, fairly quiet up here in Northern California, not the case down south in Southern California uh, as we see another uh, fairly moderate earthquake coming into the Ridge Crest area where that 6.4 uh, earthquake took place yesterday. Uh, this spike right here near Ridgecrest uh, also showing up on distant stations in Southern California as well. Uh, the earthquake 3D globe showing this was a magnitude, uh, looks like a 4.1 on the Richter scale there. So it's uh, definitely uh, continuing with its shaking going on, going on in Southern California. Um, this comes uh, as no surprise after a fairly large earthquake, but this sequence, uh, this uh, aftershock sequence has almost closed in on 1,000 earthquakes. I know last night when we were talking, doing my update video, we were looking at about 500 earthquakes. Uh, now we're up to 1,000 earthquakes, or close to it. Um, I'm going to show you guys here real quick the uh, a different view of... Uh, the California area along with Nevada in there as well. <clears throat> you can see the big large blue boxes down there right around the Ridgecrest area or just on top of it I should say. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity. Let's zoom in and uh, get you a little better view here of what's going on. Um, you can see there's a cluster. There's a huge cluster of quakes here folks. It'll be interesting to see how much longer this continues. Uh, 967 earthquakes to be exact uh, just within this area and that's fairly significant um, the largest magnitude earthquake that uh, hit overnight since we've last been chatting was a 5.1 I believe I have to look here on this other map uh, that occurred just a short time ago that 5.1 did uh, but um, or 5.4 I take that back it was a 5.4 earthquake that struck just about an hour or so ago uh, and since then overnight there's been many many threes many 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 ones uh, quite a few fours in there as well uh, but I believe that's the only five magnitude earthquake uh, or 5.4 magnitude earthquake that we've seen since the main shaker that 6.4 uh, that took place yesterday morning there on Independence Day um, so definitely some major activity uh, continuing in the Southern California region. Let's get off of that map here real quick and check out a little bit better view uh, with the USGS map. Um, yeah, so let's zoom in here. Uh, this here is a 2.5 magnitude and above map from the USGS. Uh, doesn't look like much until you zoom in here. Just a uh, little bit different view of the area with this map. Uh, and this map here is showing roughly about 190, 191 earthquakes here. And that's only 2.5 and above. Uh, there's definitely been, like I said, close to about a thousand earthquakes under that, a uh, lot of them registering under that 2.5 magnitude, but uh, nonetheless, definitely uh, significant activity out here occurring. And this morning, at least, at least from my perspective here, it looks as though these quakes are migrating uh, towards the north of the main shaker, which was this one right here if I can get it up there yeah that 6.4 6 taking place right there where the blue dot is a lot of the activity now seems as though it's migrating up here towards the north uh, I'm trying to find out where that 5.4 is at let's see here okay that 5.4 is going to be yeah just this blue dot up here um, which is definitely north of the 6.4 that took place yesterday by by a few miles. Um, not by a whole lot, but just by a few miles to the north. And the, once again, activity looks as though it's heading up to the north area. 
especially with all the newer red dots up here indicating northward movement so uh, you know it's it's still a possibility folks we're not out of the question that we may see something bigger out here in this area or close within the uh, vicinity so definitely don't want to let our guards down um, today or over the next couple days I would say uh, as this activity is still on the ramp up um, I seen somewhere someone posted on Facebook about uh, that it's good that we're having all these aftershocks because that relieves pressure um, on the plates well it may relieve pressure on uh, certain plates here maybe where that 6.4 took place or it could be uh, residual continual pressure uh, being applied out here that's creating these other quakes out here on on, uh, on a wide area uh, and, and if that's the case then it's possible we could see other faults or another fault here um, strike here pretty soon with a fairly good sized earthquake uh, hopefully it's not the San Andreas fault system down here but you never know it's it's something we need to be on guard for uh, so so all these aftershocks are not necessarily a good thing um, in this region that's already a spider web uh, complex of faults I like using that term because it pretty much looks like it if you uh, if you zoom out a little bit you can get a a better picture of just how complex everything is down there um, like I said the San Andreas fault system sits just over here to the west of the activity about uh, 60 or 70 miles or so which is not a big deal uh, geologically speaking it's pretty close it might seem like what an hour drive but you know in terms of pressure and plate movement and fault systems it's really close so uh, you know just be on guard out there if you happen to live in the Southern California region um, I will be checking on this today I will keep the live stream up and running as we're continuing to see lots of uh, earth earthquake activity come in um, looks like another 2.5 but that's not going to show up unless I move this large 4.1 out of the way then we can start seeing these other earthquakes uh, actually show up on the seismograph station here uh, probably 2.1 and like I say all these other little spikes on this scale on this seismic network is are all earthquakes I mean whether they're 0.5 or 1.5 there's lots of them I don't even think all of them are being recorded yet so that thousand number that I threw out um, is probably an underestimate once these guys look over the data and um, review everything I think we're looking at a lot more earthquake activity than what has been shown on the USGS map uh, showing close to a thousand earthquakes within this region here um, so that's no joke I mean that's a lot of earthquake activity that's a major swarm um, you know I, I call it a swarm because there's just so many in a small amount of time and we'll have to, we'll have to see how this plays out over the next uh, like say over today and um, from there on out so in the meantime folks I gotta get ready um, like I said live stream is up and running come on over um, and drop in from time to time should have a couple moderators up there today so have a good one folks stay safe out there um, peace